What up YouTube? This broke home back for another video. And uh today I will plan my sweet potato slips. Um if you wonder how I did my slips, probably will leave a, a link right there so we can find it. And um uh, just come along and hang out. Alright. Alright y'all. Now I just got regular potting soil in here. And I filled it up to probably three quarters of the way full. And I'll tell you why I'm doing it like that. Now, I'm growing sweet potato, so it grow under the dirt or the soil. So it's got to be loose for it to go down there easy and make big potatoes. But, I'm growing them in the Dollar Tree grow bags. I grew them in these bags last year. Probably put some up there to refer back to the video from last year. But first off, let's get the expectations way down. There's no way I'm gonna grow that many sweet potato this year. I'm sure of it. But grow bags, one dollar, backed by popular demand, and we're gonna get it started. All right, perlite in it, plenty of perlite. I want that soil real good, so whatever, so your sweet potatoes can go down in there, get big and widen up. Make sure the soil ain't compacted. I'm just gonna mix it in. Oh, that's pretty. Same thing over here. We got that mix good. Now, if you want want stuff to grow, you gotta put a couple of nutrients in. So, I got a, my own concoction of nutrients. I like new because I just feel like it works for me. Bone meal. If you got bone meal, you gotta have what? Blood meal. And some worm casting. Mix it all in. So I got all my amendments in there. Now, this is my thinking. I'm gonna have plain topsoil to fill up the last uh, one quarter of the bag. And my thinking with that is, it makes the roots want to search for minerals, make the roots grow better, or in this case, the sweet potato. So I don't have all the good stuff on the top. It's gonna have to spread his roots to get that good stuff. Now that's my philosophy. Philosophy ain't always fact. I want to fill it all the way to the top so give more room for the sweet potatoes to grow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one.
All right, we got everything in. So now we need the slips. These are my sweet potato slips. Good root system. Good root system. Now I'm gonna take this water because I don't waste nothing. Pour it in there. That's what it's been living in. And one more thing I want to try. I'm going to take some uh, mycorrhizal fungi and put it on the top. And uh, it helps with transplant shock. So we're going to do that. A little bit on the top. And I'm going to work in just the top layer of it. Now, I don't know exactly how many you supposed to, supposed to put in, but I put in way too many last year. So I'm, I'm gonna go with the same thing. Just gonna take my finger, poke, cover in. Oh, these, I did well with these. These some nice roots. I wanna say, uh, I'm just gonna try to figure, fill it up, probably two inches apart, maybe less. But nothing spectacular. And look, we'll come back with the finished product. How about that? All right, y'all. This is the final product. Probably put 12 in there. I really over planted this. Because I really want a lot of sweet potatoes. So that's just how I did it. Now all about. Oh yeah, I think those probably 20 pound grow bags. I'm not sure, they don't even say it on the side. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. First off, don't worry about how I grow it. The best way to grow anything is what works for you. Always remember that and enjoy y'all.